what's going on guys it's gummy b12 here today and i'm not in minecraft um this was requested on one of my videos to on my mod video to actually teach modding and um so that's what i'm going to be doing um this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to just get your things set up so i won't be going in code right now but i will be showing you guys how to set them up so we can start coding next next episode so we're going to need around we're going to need two Two things. Um, well, three if you count Java, but you should have that installed. So we're gonna need Eclipse. Um, I'll put the links in the description, but this is the Eclipse website. We're gonna download the Eclipse standard. And one thing, I'm on a Mac, yes, but basically nothing's different. I'm gonna explain how to do it on Windows, and then for the Mac users, you can copy it from me because I know most of you are on, most of you are on Windows. So we're gonna install the whatever your operating system is, um, you're going to install the program for that. So you can go here and you can download it. And that's going to take a while. And then you want to go to Minecraft Forge and you want to get the recommended 1.6.4. Do not get the latest um, because that could be buggy and we just don't want bugs right now. We want to be able to have a nice clean, nice clean place. So we're going to install the FSRC, not anything else. So we can add fly that. Wait five seconds, like always, because ad fly is ad fly. And then we can skip ad and download it. Alright, it's going to download up here too. This is going to take a while, so I will be back when this finishes downloading. Alright guys, I'm back. Actually, sooner than I expected, because Eclipse is still downloading for me. It's going to take like five minutes. But what we want to do first to get it set up, for modding is you're gonna find this forge folder or I think on Windows you're gonna have a different folder but you're gonna have a forge folder inside that you're gonna open it up and you can find this um so basically on Windows what you're gonna want to do is is run the install.cmd that's Windows and then on Mac what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up terminal um yeah terminal Sorry, this is confusing. Terminal, um, and then we're going to change our change directory to forge, um, to cd space, drag that in, click, press enter, and then, um, hmm, that's, oh yeah, okay. And then we're going to, um, sorry, then we're going to type bash, and then we're going to do the install.sh. sh is for Mac, cmd is for Windows. Windows has it a lot easier. Um, they can just run that, but we're going to do that, and then it's going to install. This is going to take a while, like 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut back to you when it's done, but make sure not to stop it before it says it's done downloading. So it's going to start. It's going to take a while, so I'll be back in a second. I'm back, and this took a little longer than 10 minutes. I'm sorry, but this is what it should look like. It has to look like this, or else you might mess it up. So once it says Minecraft Forge is finished, we can just quit out of Terminal or... You can quit out of your, uh, I don't know, on Windows, there's like the thing like Terminal. I forget what it is. Oh, but we can, but okay, so now we have our two files, and what this should have created is this MCP, and this is really important. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to, you're going to get this file, and you're going to have to unzip it or double click it or something. Um, on Mac, you double click it. We don't need this anymore. We can put it in here. So, um, I'm going to make a folder for my mod tutorial. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. You don't really need this, but just to keep things organized, I'm going to put these two in. Uh, low battery, sorry. But we're going to, now what we're going to do is go into our Eclipse folder, and we can just open up Eclipse. It should be the application. It might ask you if you want to open it up if you're on Mac, but you're going to open this up. And it's going to load up, and we're going to find this. And it's not going to say this. I Again, I messed up. But it doesn't matter. You're going to want to go into your... Go into the Forge folder that we just had. Go into MCP. Go into Eclipse. Then you're on Mac. Um, on Windows, this is going to be really easy. You just go up here and you copy the complete file name tag. And you paste it in here. But for Mac, we're going to get info. And we're going to go where. And we're going to copy this. And we're gonna paste it in in our uh, in our Eclipse, and then we have to add slash Eclipse because 
we need to add this folder. So this is what this is what we're gonna do on once again on Windows, you just copy it, place it in here. It should look something like this at the end, forge slash mcp slash eclipse. This might be a little different. But you're gonna make sure you have that. Now we're gonna press OK and it's gonna load up Eclipse, hopefully with our Minecraft files in it. Alright. So you should get this folder called Minecraft, and if you click this to open it up, you'll get the SRC. This is what we're gonna be focused on. Um just to make sure you have this, this is all the code in Minecraft. And we're not going to get into coding this episode, we're going to get into that next one, but just to make sure you have everything working, you can go up to this green button, same thing on Windows, from here on out it's almost the same as, it's basically the exact same, I'll tell you if there's a difference. But you go up here and you just click that, and it's going to run because this comes with a full version of Minecraft and Forge, because we're going to be coding on Forge, because um, that's the most used and the best. So it's going to, we're not going to have any... So it's going to say three mods loaded because we haven't created ours yet. These are the default Forge mods. And just go into a world, and I can just name it, like, Test World. And just make sure <laughs> make sure it doesn't crash when you go into it. Um, so it's going to take a little while because I'm recording. And sometimes the first time you do it, it's really slow for generating our world. But we have it. You might have to change your settings because um, it's a new thing of Forge. So, I'm not going to do that, but I have it. I can quit. Um, again, Forge is installed. It's going to take a while again because this is uh, um, because this is recording and it's the first time. Sorry. Um, and then we can quit game and everything's loaded. And we're all good to start modding. And so next episode, we're going to go over making your basic um, own mod. Like, own mod. What? But we're going to go over... Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna go over what we need to start what we need to start modding next episode. So all the files we need, and then we can start doing some fun, creative modding stuff. I keep dragging files, and this is not good. Okay, okay, this is not good. Don't do what I did. Um, so this has been my tutorial for episode one. Um, episode two, hopefully, will not hopefully, but we'll get started. So we'll see you in the next episode. See ya.